Hi, and welcome to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And today I am making a brown sugar pecan pie. It is so good. It has all the flavors of a pecan pie without the corn syrup. So let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need some brown sugar. And I just wanted to share with you guys a trick that I've been using for my brown sugar for years now. I put marshmallows in my brown sugar and if I had larger ones, I would use them, but as you can see, I'm using the mini marshmallows and that keeps your brown sugar from getting hard. You're also going to need some butter, eggs, a little bit of flour, vanilla, lemon juice, pecans, of course, and you're going to need a deep dish pie shell. Now I have par baked my pie shell for 10 minutes at 400 degrees so that the bottom of it won't get all soggy. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is take your pecans, put them in a large bowl, and you're just gonna mix your pecans with some flour. And what this does is prevents the pecans from sinking down to the bottom of your pie. And you're just gonna set the pecans aside once you have them coated. So in my saucepan, I have my cup of butter. It's already started melting. To that, I'm going to add my brown sugar. And I am just going to heat the two together until um, the brown sugar has melted and the butter has melted and they are well combined. Okay, so the brown sugar and butter have melted and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to remove this from the heat and show you what comes next. Okay, next I'm just going to lightly beat my eggs, very lightly. Not like you're making scrambled eggs, just until they're combined. And by the way, forgot to mention, my eggs are at room temperature. You wanna make sure you're using room temperature eggs. You don't want those eggs to curdle once they hit that hot liquid. So I'm just going to stir um, this around while I slowly pour my eggs into the mixture. And next I'm going to add in my lemon juice. That's gonna cut some of that sweetness. Now, lemon juice is optional. You do not have to use lemon juice if you don't want to. And I'm also adding in my vanilla. And next, I'm going to pour in my pecans. And you're just gonna stir it until it's well combined. Okay, so I am just going to pour my mixture into my pie shell. All right, so I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I am going to bake this for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, or until that filling is set. Okay, so I just took my pie out of the oven. I ended up baking this pie for one hour. So at 50 minutes, I checked the pie and it was still jiggly in the middle. So I put it in for an additional 10 minutes. So let me show you what I mean here. So I have the edge and I'm shaking it. And as you can see, there was there's no jiggle at all in the middle. So when I checked it before at 50 minutes, it was jiggling. So if it's still jiggling a little bit, um, then cook it a little bit longer until there's absolutely no jiggle in the pie. And like I said, I just took mine out and you can probably still hear it bubbling. So again, no jiggle in the middle at all is what you're looking for. About halfway through the cooking time, I did put this pie shield over my pie to keep it from getting too dark. So this is what a pie shield looks like. If you don't have a pie shield, then foil paper would work as well. So I am going to let this cool completely and then I'll cut it open so y'all can see what it looks like. So here is the pecan pie. I did let this cool completely before I cut it. So try to get in close for you all to check it out. And here is the slice of pie on the plate. Howard is not a big pecan pie person or big pecan person, period. And he really does like this pie. It tastes so good. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.